I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Stranded, a game by Peter Moorhead. Um, a review copy of this game is given to me free of charge by Curve Digital, who's apparently the publisher and all that. Um, this is a weird game, and it is a deliberately weird game. Um, it's If you're interested in buying it, it's important to be aware of exactly what it is. It's sort of a arty experimental thing. Um, it's very short and very minimalistic. Not really a lot of replay value. Um, so if you're gonna buy it, the main reasons to get it are the unusual method of storytelling, very minimalistic, and um, the pixel art and music, which are very good. But uh, you know, also pretty short on content. So if you basically, if you have any doubts on whether you should pay, I think it's like eight bucks. So not like super expensive or anything. But uh, if you have any, you know consternations on that don't buy it maybe watch the video first but of course since it's an adventure game watching will sort of ruin it for you but whatever um so yeah you're i think you're maybe a woman like you look vaguely feminine we're gonna guide our vaguely feminine um crash survivor here we landed on this planet and our engine's bad but our other stuff is all right we've got a whole crap ton of Tanks of something. Oxygen, probably. Hey! Hey, rock guy! Get back here. We're gonna go say hi to that rock guy. This is very. This is a safe idea. This is a good thing to do. Yeah, we crash landed. We're stranded! Get it? That's. That's the name of the game! Yeah. So the main draw, at least for me, is the surreal, like, pixely world we've got here. And, uh. The game's very atmospheric. I love the. Um. The music is really good, and the sort of... You can hear yourself breathing if you're quiet, which I'm not. So we've got this weird crap. And since it's a point-and-click adventure game, we're gonna inspect that weird crap. Um, also, another thing to note, control is very minimal. There's really just clicking. You can click yourself for a little map here. Um, there's no right-clicking, there's no menu, there's a... You can restart the game, but I think that's about it. There's very few interactions. Um, it's deliberately a very minimalistic, weird little game, which is why I warned about, you know, don't buy and get pissed off. Um, not that you should not buy it, but I mean, the reviews are full of people that clearly did not have the right expectations of going into the game. So I just, you should expect to play maybe an hour or two, and it's a fairly slow paced game. Um, so. You're mainly paying to take in the weird atmosphere and screw around, enjoy the music, enjoy the pixels. And there's sort of an interesting plotline that we'll see, and I'll point out more blatantly if it's not obvious. But yeah. Poking around. We we're hoping to find some Pikmin to uh, fix our ship. And, uh,. Got a surprisingly large amount of days to do that. 153. I mean, Olimar only took 30. I mean, 30's a lot unless you suck. So, so we've got this highly ominous structure here. And if it doesn't seem like you can do anything, honestly, it's because you can't. There's not too much interaction in the first few days of this game. Um, you're just sort of scoping things out, seeing what there is, completing your map, I guess, if you want. The map isn't super helpful, because the game world is pretty small, as was said before. Let's take a look at our map. Oh, that's odd. Well, this area does not like our map for some reason. Well, There's a second door to our ship, so let's go ahead and see what's outside that second door. One thing I'm not a big fan of in this game, if you click all the way over to the right, I kind of expect you to walk off the edge of the screen, but your character sort of stops a little bit short each time. I think the slow walking speed and the no skip option, you know, deliberate to, you know, make it an atmospheric thing, you know, which I'm ruining by talking and all that, um, but, uh, it's just a bit annoying that I have to do two clicks instead of one. I'm very picky about my clicks. So he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna stop there. So yeah, we've got our ship. Oh, what's down here? Not 
interesting. And this is important. I messed this up my first playthrough. I tried to walk through these, and I think I must have clicked in the wrong space. But yeah, those shafts of light, there is stuff beyond them. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Got some weird legs, you know that? The joints in general. I'm not sure that's... You know, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but whatever. You keep doing what you're doing, big guy. He's got another ominous temple. Does this one screw with our map? It doesn't! Oh, we've got a fairly complete look at the map here, don't we? Let's take a peek in here. Yeah, see, the, like, there are certain points where you seem to just be programmed to stop. H! H! H. Yep, check the map. That's an H. Well, that's it's very H, honestly. I would I would say this is about an H out of ten. That's what I would rate this situation. It was an H on the door. I, I didn't even notice that. So yeah, there are ominous temples for some reason. So that's interesting. I usually don't like dithering in pixel art too much, but I kind of like the the way dithering is used in the background there. There's another go. I think that's. I think I must have clicked over too far. The only thing about um, point and click games is you can never be 100% sure. You know, if there's really something you can go over and do, but you're just clicking not exactly the right pixel. Oh, it's a melon. It's one of those Japanese melons with the weird stem. You know the ones. They're in Yoshi's story. What's up with those anyway? Are those like actual melons? Because I see them in lots of Japanese stuff, but I've never seen an actual melon of that variety. Well, that sure is a thing. Let's go back to our ship and take a nap. There don't seem to be any Pikmin on this planet, which is problematic, to say the least. I mean... How are you going to fix our ship without Pikmin? These guys aren't Pikmin. Look at this guy. This guy's not Pikmin at all. He's some sort of bicyclist, robot, stone warrior dude. None of those words apply to Pikmin. Oh, I guess they're kind of warriors. Not very good ones, but... I love the different walking sounds. The game does do its atmosphere very well. Oh, I missed an opportunity to do a pod bay doors. We opened the pod bay doors, Hal. I have no idea what's supposed to be going on in that. The screen's in there. So we got a bunch of broken rocks. That's odd. You can hear ourself very loudly on this map, so that's... Oh, you can you hear your breathing when you're not walking. That's why I didn't always hear it before. Well, let's take a nap. We've got plenty of oxygen tanks remaining. Yes. This is a major part of the game, waiting for the next day. Stranded. I don't think there's actually anything interesting there. Take a peek, see outside. Oh, you wait for the night, you... Like, there's nights and days, not just the next day. So of course the environments are invited for night or updated for nightfall. And the plants are very pretty at night. The nightfall is one of my favorite parts of this game. Just the night graphics. The looming clouds. All right, let's go. Again, it's supposed to be like weird experimental stuff, so I I want to say you should walk faster, but I mean, that's obviously a deliberate design choice. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. Don't just look at my ship. You should help. If you were Pikmin, you would be helping me right now. You know that? You'd also be very small and not very helpful at helping me, but you know, there would be a lot of you. You guys having some sort of rave party over here? I'm down with that. Sweet alien rave parties are 
Personally, my favorite kind of rave parties. Well, let's go to the half of the Japanese Melon Temple and see what's going on here. Is this a more rockin' place at night? Get it rockin', because there's lots of rocks. Oh, it is more rockin'. It's glowy. Interesting. Now it's glowy from the outside, too. Let's go take a look at map weirdness place. No, watch that. See, even if it's, you know, the slow pacing is deliberate, it is kind of frustrating that they stop before they walk all the way off the screen. Like, that just feels like poor design, in my opinion. I... I'm open to the slowness, the slow pace stuff, even if I don't entirely agree with it, but that... The walking just feels a bit broken. So we've got a dead rock guy in our way, so we can't go to the sweet rave party in here. Huh. Oh well. Let's go take a peek in that cave. I don't believe you can fast travel. I'm pretty sure I tried that with the map. I'm pretty sure the map is just... well, mainly for cosmetic purposes in my opinion because there's no real... Like, there are only a few screens, and it's all so simple, I'm not sure why you'd need a map. Kind of a cute feature, though. Go over there. Ship. Not sure you left the light on though. It's a waste of electricity, this is space lady. Ooh, pretty. Uh, one unfortunate thing I will say, these areas are um some of these areas are repeated like in that first plane. Like I'll show you on the map. But like this stuff past the cave here. Um it's mostly reused art assets, honestly. I found that wasn't super impressive. Uh, total spoiler alert! There's no reason to go in these temples right now, so we're just gonna not. We're gonna take a nap and go to day two. But what's this? Oh, that... That seemed bad. My ship farted. Oh... Well, that's not good. To be quite honest, that's the main thing of all that happens on day two, so that's why I skipped most of day two. Here's the scene. There's a little dude! Big, big dude, actually. What's he, what's he doing? Hey, buddy! You get, I don't think you should walk through that water. I don't... I don't think... Oh. Oh, my. Hmm. I'm sure he's fine. He's taking a nap while floating on water. He's fine. Let's take a nap! Perfectly calm nap. Everything's fine. Let's take a nap in this surprisingly sinister bed now. 
The music gets more ominous. Zero tanks remaining. Welp. Well, the corpse seems to have washed away. And that would appear to be what these... seem to be bits of those rock guys. That's... strange. But we got some nice ominous music for our trouble. So we can die happy because we've heard this music. Alright? Hey, buddy. You gonna help? I- ah. Oh. Hey! You, you're not- You guys are the worst Pikmin ever, you know that? Whatever. I'm gonna go visit the H temple. The H gives me strength. Okay? No question. I forbid you to question the H. It is a letter. That's about all there is to say about it, really. There, it's, it's a letter. Purple is a color, and H is a letter. Let's go visit the H. And the giant head. The giant head also gives me strength, but mostly the H. Hello, texts. I'm, I'm, I hope that's an H. I'm gonna check that text, and if it's not an H, I'm gonna be pissed. It's not an H, son of a bitch. All right, but we got an H here, so that's, that's really what matters in life. And we got an ominous blue glow, too, so that's cool. We didn't visit these in day, like, Nightfall 1, because there's no point to. You can go ahead and activate them, but they become inactive on this day. I gotta tell you, there's not too much more to the game, so if you don't enjoy the pixel art and the music, that's why you wouldn't want to buy it. I feel bad because, I mean, I don't entirely disagree with the negative reviews on the the uh, Steam thing, but it's like, I think the main problem is they didn't realize what they're getting into. I don't think, like, a game is bad. I'm not necessarily sure the value proposition is bad, but it's definitely not what people are expecting, obviously. But it seemed pretty clear to me that we were talking, you know, weird experimental art crap, which, you know, I eat that stuff up. Um, and if you read reviews, it's pretty clear that it's like a one, two hour game if you don't know what you're doing. Much shorter if you do. I think that's a big problem with Steam in general right now. People are used to, you know, the AAA stuff and years of, you gotta get your playtime worth. That's, you know, every game has to be, you know, 20 hours is a short game, right? And everything has to be super mega long, and doing the same thing over and over again. But then indie stuff, you know, doesn't really have too much of the fluff. Um, or, you know, just... Lots of very widely different value propositions, and uh, if you're not clear about that, or even if you are clear about that, some people just, you know... I've heard lots of people complaining about using early access and getting an incomplete game. That is literally the point of early access on Steam, to play an incomplete game. You shouldn't have bought an early access game if you didn't, you know, know that. Some things are pretty BS, like people putting up early access games they don't really seem to intend to actually finish, or you know, work on, or people just putting up totally broken games, but when it's something like this, where no. I don't know, people just need to read stuff before they buy stuff, I guess, and I, I appreciate that's difficult, but... I don't know where I was going with this. I guess I wasn't going anywhere. I apologize. Let's go into the sweet rave party that's going on here. The stupid dead robot isn't in our way anymore. 
freaking dead robots trying to stop me from my rave parties. You know, I if I had a nickel for every time a robot stopped me from getting into a sweet rave party, I would have 43 cents. Exactly. Let's get on the dance floor, lady. Yeah. Let's get the sweet rave party on the road. It's a very ominous rave party. This is an ominous rave. I, I didn't sign up for an ominous rave party, to be quite honest. Oh, the rave party is starting. Okay. I'm okay with this. This is a pretty slow-paced rave. Oh god, the rave consumed me! This is this is a problem, you know. Millions of teenagers are consumed by raves every year. Never to be seen again. Hang on here. That silhouette seems familiar. Wait. Wait. Uh, oh no. Yeah. We're a robot thing! Hooray. That really is the end of the game. So that... Basically what we get out of that is people crash land on that planet. They become those robot things. And if you notice... Um, take a peek out here. Like when we walked out here before... We saw those shattered pieces of those rock guys, and we saw that one killing themselves. So they just... People come here, they turn into those robots, and they kill themselves. Why? I don't know. It's not really explained. Now, that was an interesting little story. Um, definitely pretty light on content. Um, I don't really want to get into the $8 argument, or I'm pretty sure it's $8. Whatever it is on Steam. Because um, I really don't think dollar per hour is a good way to quantify game time because I mean if you spend 60 bucks on a game and you spend 120 hours is that a good deal what if 119 of those hours you know just grinding to do stupid crap and get achievements I mean if that's your kind of thing sure but in this case just independent of the price it feels like, there's just a bit too much missing, in my opinion, but I do think it's very... It's an interesting game, just a little incomplete. And, I mean, definitely minimal was a minimalism was a point of the game, so I guess partly intended, but... It'd uh, be interesting to see a bit more of this than what we got to see. But still very interesting, very nice pixels, good music. It'd be interesting to see, you know, maybe a more fleshed out sequel or game in this vein by the developer. But, uh, if you want to check it out, Steam link is in the description, as always. I'm Sir Tap Tap signing out. Oh, one weird oddity of this game. If you close the game while the game is active, like, you know, just using the red X, it counts that as a day cycle. Or like a day night, you know, it it trans it Ah, I can't words. It sends you to the next time period, you know, the next night or the next day. And that'll actually end the game. If you end in that section where you become the rock monster, um, you'll just get a game over if you happen to close at that point. It's kind of... I don't know if that's a bug or what, but it's kind of unfortunate. Because it kind of saves your place, but it saves your place in the next... Like, it saves your future place, which is not what I would expect or want. Yeah, that's just a little oddity for you.